everyone, it's Crafty Mom with Three Sets of Twins. I hope you're going to enjoy our channel today. And if you would subscribe, that would be wonderful. And hit the like button and the notification bell. And always remember to be kind to each other. And have a great day. It's DIY number one. I got these cute little pumpkins. They're made of styrofoam at Dollar Tree. And they are pretty big. They're a pretty big size. And I've got this material at Hobby Lobby. It's one of my favorite materials. It's really just, I think it goes with just about anything. So you're just going to wrap this pumpkin. You're going to pull that stem out. And you may or may not use it again, but you're just going to try to center your pumpkin and you're going to have to cut some of it off. It's a process because you have to figure out how much you're going to need on all the sides of it. So I'm just trying to figure out how much I will cut off. And I'm just going to take my scissors and cut. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually just see if you have enough to go around the whole pumpkin because you will be cutting some more off. And this is my first time doing this, so bear with me. I haven't even seen anybody do this. I know they do it, but I am just trying to figure it out as we go along. Okay, now I did, I'm just poking all this material into where that little stem came out. <clears throat> so the hole keeps getting bigger as you're like using the scissors to poke it into that hole. Because the more you poke it in there, the larger the hole gets. And you can cut the hole out first if you want to. I've done that before. Right now, I'm just going to try to stuff all this material down where that stem was. Just try not to cut yourself or poke your fingers. And I just keep pushing it down in there. Okay, I made this little stem out of these little wooden blocks and I'm just going to use my glue gun to glue them together. I used three of the small little blocks that you get from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure how many come in a package, but probably at least, what, 30 of them maybe in a package. And that's going to be my stem for my little pumpkin. And when you finish, you're going to have a cute little homemade pumpkin made out of your favorite material you can also use like Halloween material which and you can also use if you didn't want to use the pumpkins you can use a roll of toilet paper I'm also going to take a little floral leaf that I cut off from some florals that I got at Dollar Tree and you're just going to go ahead and glue that down I took the leaves and I, they were bigger and I just cut them a little bit and now I'm just going to glue them 
to my cute little pumpkin. So guys, try to make one of these. They're fun. They're very cute in your decor. And there it is. Look how cute that is. You can see a little bit of that glue I dropped on it. But there's my cute little pumpkin. DIY number two. There's another pumpkin. Now, I found my little apple core, as you can see, the little tool there to the right. Of course, this is the Dollar Tree pumpkin and it's styrofoam. And I'm just going to show you how to do another one. And you pull out the stem. I found this apple core. I was thinking the other night, wow, I bet the apple core will work. Right, this is a napkin that I got, I think, for what, 50 cents maybe? Oh, 70 cents. All right, so it's a napkin that you would use on your table. And I'm going to use it to wrap my pumpkin. So I love that it's like a navy and white. And watch, here's the apple core. This is a cute little hack. And you can just pull it out, make the hole. How easy and how cool is that? So grab your apple coral to make your hole in your pumpkin, and it's going to make it easy peasy. Again, you're going to set on your pumpkin, and you're just going to start stuffing it into the hole. This is just another way you can do it, and you're going to keep pushing with your scissors into that hole. There's so many different ways to do these pumpkins. And I have this nautical rope, which is like the perfect color. It matches the little bit of, it's like an off-white. So I'm just going to cut a little piece off. I put some glue on the end of it. And I'm going to glue it to my pumpkin in the center where the hole was. Which you can't see right now because I've covered it. And there it is. Look how cute this one is. There's so many different ideas that you can do for these. Like I said, if you don't have the pumpkins, you can use a roll of toilet paper. And just wrap your toilet paper around the pendant. You can pretty much do it however big your toilet roll is. All right, and I'm just pushing it down into the hole. And look how cute this one is. I added some leaves to it. And there it is. Cute little pumpkin. DIY number three. Oh, yeah, I did lose the footage. It's the same thing, but I used... All right, this is a little leopard one. This was a Dollar Tree scarf, and it was very thin material. I used a smaller pumpkin from the Dollar Tree, and I'd already wrapped it and did it the same way. I'm using a jute cord, and I'm going to double up the jute cord to make a stem. So I'm just going to double it up, and I'm going to glue those two together. But I love this little leopard pumpkin. You could do so many different designs, so many different fabrics. You can even paint it if you wanted to. I probably will paint one down the road and do a DIY on that one. Okay, I have these heat gloves that I use that I got off of Amazon, which you can go to my Amazon store, and it's linked below. Because my fingers burn really easy with this glue. So again, this was a scarf that I got at Dollar Tree. I just wrapped it around the little pumpkin. And I'm doing a cute little stem. Look how cute it is. I love this. I might make a bigger one to go with it. How cute is that? All right, guys, any of you can make this. It's pretty easy. Um, you don't have to use that particular glue. You can use a different glue, like, oh, look, here they are all together. 
You can make a basket filled with little pumpkins. And here's this one again. I love the way this one turned out. It is so cute. So get out your favorite fabrics, make some pumpkins. All right, DIY number four. This is just going to be, I have this Measure Your Life in Love. It's just like a floral arrangement. And I'm just stuffing this with paper so I don't have to use so much foam. I am going to use some foam. But I'm just going to stuff it with some newspaper first. I'm going to cut a piece of the floral foam. And actually, if you cut your own, you... Dollar Tree does have it where you buy four of them for a dollar, but they're very small. You get an extra piece if you do it yourself. And you can cut it with a knife or a scissor. And I'm just going to glue it to all of this newspaper. Okay, now I'm just going to push some of these flowers. Some of these are already like have a pumpkin on them, a flower on them, and a pine cone. And I'm just pushing it into the newspaper and the floral foam. I'm just going to add all this in because I really wanted to have some of the fall flower arrangements in my house because I'm pulling down my summer. Summer it's decor and I'm packing those up. Now I'm on to fall. Fall is going to be here in a few more weeks, so I'm just getting started. I got this cute little ribbon from Dollar Tree. And actually the Dollar Tree ribbon is probably cheaper than most if you go by the foot. So you're getting, I don't know, something's like 18 or 25 cents a foot versus some of the other stores. And these colors are so pretty. Look how gorgeous they are. I'm just doing some loops. I do about three or four loops, just something simple. Loop it three or four times and just tie it in the middle. And you've got a cute little bow. And this one has the wire in it so you can pull it out to make it look like a fluffy bow. I love the fall colors. They're so vibrant and pretty. Look how pretty this one is. It's got little pumpkins in it, pine cones, and then you're ready for fall. I just took some of that ribbon and wrapped it around the base. And there it is. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Look how pretty that is. See my little pumpkin scene in the background? I did white pumpkins across my fireplace. And there's the three pumpkins I made. I'm probably going to paint some this week just to see how they turn out. I did spray paint some, so I think that might be in the next video. And thank you for watching with me. If you would subscribe, I would love that. Hit the notification bell and the like button. And that way you'll be notified of my next video. And just know that I love you guys. Be safe. There's a lot going on in the world. So just try to be kind to each other. Love you. Bye.